Governor Healy said earlier today that the state's emergency shelter system is about to reach its maximum capacity by the end of the month. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live from West Springfield, one of the communities providing emergency shelter for migrants. Yeah, that's right, Ciara. And tonight I spoke with the mayor of West Springfield about what this means for his city. But right now, Massachusetts resources are pretty thinly stretched. The capacity clock is ticking. By the end of this month, the state's emergency shelter system is expected to reach its maximum limit. Governor Maura Healy calling on Congress to act quick. I think that uh, this week I've organized a meeting with Secretary Mayorkas. He's going to meet with the Massachusetts congressional delegation. I'm going to chair that meeting. And I think that the Governor Healy is correct. According to Healy, the state's emergency family shelter system has been expanding at an unsustainable rate to meet rising demand, driven by increasing numbers of newly arriving migrant families and slower exits of families in long-term emergency shelter stays. She says they will not be able to accommodate more than 7,500 families or 24,000 individuals. There are currently about 7,000 families with children in emergency shelters here in the state, and about half the individuals in the emergency shelters are children. That number also including pregnant women. The town of West Springfield is one of the communities helping house migrants. The mayor telling us they've stapled around 100 families. While we're reaching capacity, there's still talk that we're not going to turn anyone away. So it's just a bit confusing of if we're reaching capacity, where are folks going to go? Governor Healy says they are prioritizing helping families who have been in shelter long term to exit into more permanent housing options. The Massachusetts Immigrant and Refugee Advocacy Coalition is calling on the state to approve more funding for the shelters and for Congress to pass immigration reform that allows immigrants to work. Work Refuse Night in West Springfield. Christina DeMores, 22 News.